welcome to my YouTube channel where every week we're going to take a look at how to fix up a utility trailer and make it into something that's actually livable. And the reason I'm doing it is because I want to get to the beet harvest. How cool is that? Who would go out to the beet harvest in North Dakota to actually work once they actually retire? Well, that was my dream, my hope, and I was inspired by quite a number of other people throughout uh, this last five years that I've been working on my trailer. And I've really come up with some really cool ideas that I think that you'll find very interesting. Uh, different ways that you can do stuff cheaply. Not, it doesn't cost you a ton of money to do what I'm doing. I'm no great carpenter of the world by any means. Uh, I'm just a normal guy who decided one day, hey, I've got this old utility trailer. I'm going to fix it up. I'm getting close to retirement. I'd really like to go out to North Dakota, work at the beet harvest for at least one year, for the one season, and, uh, and you know, maybe I'll use it some other places. Who knows? My hopes are, is that after taking a look at the things I built, you'll be as inspired as I have been by watching other people. And how cool would that be if we all helped each other become more inspired to do better things in life. I can't think of anything better than that. So, with that being said, this first video, I'm gonna show you how to paint using nothing more than spray paint. And I painted the front end of my trailer five years ago, so we can go and we can take a look at it and see how it held up over the five years since I've actually painted it. But I'm going to take you back in time to show you how I did it, and then I'm going to show you how it held up over five years. And I hope you'll, you'll uh, subscribe to my channel, because every week there's going to be something new. Next week, I'm going to show you how I actually rolled the paint on. So on the front part of it, I used spray paint, and then I decided it would be even cheaper if I could roll the paint on. And I found a way to do that, and the right type of paint, and a real cheap way of actually doing that, so that you can paint your trailer. So, with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to sand the front part of this. I'm going to start out by using this 220 uh, sandpaper, is what I'm going to sand the front of it with. And I'm going to use this primer, which I've used in the past. Let's see if you can see it on here good. It's called 2-in-1. It's a filler and sandable primer, and it's by Rust-Oleum. And it works extremely well, especially if you have like small scratches and stuff. It'll actually kind of fill that in a bit for you. So let's get started. And we'll start by simply sanding the front of this. Uh, shouldn't take us too long. So I do have a battery powered sander. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and go ahead and get rid of this sticker that's on here. As you can see, I'm already down to bare metal. It really didn't take any sanding at all to get that down to bare metal. But uh, I'll go back and get my battery upper sander and sand that out of there just so I have a, a perfect front. Okay, so I'm going to end up using a Craftsman uh, has a 19.2 volt battery on it with some 120 grit sandpaper in order to remove the sticker emblem on uh, the US cargo trailer. <laughs> Okay, so we now have the, you can see the spot up here gone ahead and we sanded off this uh, just a battery powered sander and 
what I'm going to do now is just use a little lacquer thinner, which is uh, basically just going to kind of take off some of that dust and stuff that's on there. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and I just taped this off with some masking tape and some plastic. Nothing too, too fancy about it by any means. I obviously have sanded that down with a little 220 grit sandpaper, got rid of the emblem. And now I'm going to end up using some Rust-Oleum primer. It's two-in-one filler and sandable, if you can see that on there. This is the one that I'm using. So, I've used this before, it's worked out really well. They have a tendency to kind of even fill in the scratches. The vast majority of the time in order to do this was actually spent masking this off. Yesterday when we left off, we went ahead and we got everything primed. I'm very happy with the way that turned out. So today I'm going to use some 600 grit sandpaper that I picked up at Walmart. I'm going to lightly sand the primer very quickly. Then I'm going to use some thinner and just wipe it off and then we're going to go ahead and paint. So we're done sanding and I have to tell you that two-in-one primer is some great stuff. You can't even see hardly a scratch in that, that primer and even this area where there was that sticker, virtually you can't even see a scratch mark there. So that stuff I highly recommend. Okay, I'm going to wipe this off with uh, some thinner and then we're going to go ahead and start spraying. Okay, so I'm just going to take some thinner now. I'm going to put it on my cloth here and wipe this down again. The paint that I'm using is again, it's a Rust-Oleum. It's a acrylic lacquer. It's uh, it's white, and it's a it's a high gloss. 
Let's see if you can see that. So that's what we'll be painting with today. Probably could have used, I think, maybe a couple more cans. So I'm going to go grab two more cans of spray paint and come on back. I'm going to let this dry. You know, for the first time over, I'm pretty happy with it, the way that came out. I mean, considering I'm doing it with spray cans, okay? So, again, a cheap way to basically repaint the walls of your trailer without having to put just a whole lot of money into it. So it's a little windy out here today, today being April 21st, 2023. So as you can see, that's after five years. That's how long that paint's been on there now. Not the one above, but uh, the one up there. Okay, that's a different type of paint. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that during my next video. But the main portion of this on the front that was that spray paint that I put on there five years ago. And has it started to fade? Yeah, a little bit, you know? But I mean, all in all, man, not bad. I mean, you can see some spots. I'll see if I can find it even here on the video. Like right here, you can see where it's just starting to crack a little bit. But I mean, that's it, you know? And it's starting to fade a little bit now after five years. So. Uh, the other two sides in the back, I used a different type of paint as I did up above here. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that during my next video. So stay tuned. 
I'd like to give a little shout out to James Murphy who created all this wonderful music that I used during the course of uh, making this video and whose music I'm going to continue using throughout the rest of my videos. I hope that I was able to inspire you so that you can inspire others. And if I accomplish that, then I've accomplished what I've set out in life, to inspire people, to inspire others, so that we all live in a better place. And how cool is that? Who doesn't want that? A place where everybody helps each other. Something a little bit different. So, please, I hope that you will subscribe. I hope that you'll give me a thumbs up for this video. And as all YouTubers say, please smash that like button because I need your support. Because my only means of keeping going so that I can continue working on my trailer and other projects that I have slated for down the road is through what little money I can make off of YouTube. So your help and your support by watching my dumb little videos will be greatly helpful. Thank you. And again, I hope that I can inspire you to inspire others.